Labor Day and thank you for joining us for another great day at Studio 9. I'm Tanya Carter. Labor Day deals are in full swing. Coming up, we'll show what you should buy right now and what you should hold back on. And in this week's of segment of Skill to Work, the job isn't easy, but it's important to keep your horses in tip top shape. WTV's Michelle Martin tells us about the craft of shoeing horses. And football season is back, and that also means the return of fantasy football. Coming up, we'll tell you why more women are getting in on the action this year. But first, it is considered the last hurrah of the summer season. With many folks already looking to fall, we decided to have a bit of fun on this Labor Day with Decorating 101. And joining us now is Maddie Mize, the owner of Honey Curated Home. And I am proud to say she is also my CLI classmate, Miss Maddie Mize. And Maddie, before we get to this, there's something that you would like to see happen here in Tupelo. Tell them real quick. I think a great CLI project would be a children's museum in Tupelo. So we'll see, maybe we can make it work. That's right, if you have <laughs> some land to donate or anything, please just get in touch with Maddie Mize. But Maddie, tell us about this granny chic. What is happening with the fall uh, decorating ideas? Well, Tanya, I think granny chic is it right now. If you follow any design trends on social media, um, you know, old is new. And so that's what I've brought a little bit of today. Oh, okay, so tell us a little bit what you have here. So um, I have a vintage booth called Honey Curated Home. Um, and and in my booth at Relics Marketplace, I carry an array of decorative accessories for home. Most of them are found or sourced at um, estate sales, antique malls, flea markets, and um, today I just assembled a really cute little cart um, with a sampling of things. Oh, okay. Uh, so tell us about this vase. So this, so this is a little vintage cash bow. I think it's sort of in the style of old transfer wear. Mm -hmm. um, it's the old, however, I've popped it in with a new fresh orchid to give it a new purpose and life. Now, I know these are real lemons, they but tell are. us a little bit about the bowl. In fact, this bowl um, was inherited. Um, it was my husband's grandmother's. And so we inherit oh. things um, all the time. Um, and it's, it's so special to give them a use and a function, mm -hmm. um, give them a job to do and look pretty at that. Now, when it comes to granny chic, especially for our nanas out there and stuff like that, there are some things you're like, no, nah, I don't know. But when it comes to mixing the new with the old, um, how excited is it, you know, to be able to mix those things up? I, Tanya, I find no better thrill than finding something old that's also beautiful. Um, I, I'm always just hoping to keep my eyes open for beauty and unexpected places. Mm -hmm. So don't uh, don't ever skip those things that might be a little bit granny because you can still make them chic. My um, great aunts used to serve us Sprite in these little Jeanette glasses. So now I have three collections of Jeanette glasses and and vintage is just all about finding the things that speak to you that that sort of tell your story and and spark a little memory too mm -hmm. and then when it comes to granny chic any particular fall colors or anything like that or does it matter i think blue and white as a trend has been such a, a phenomenon lately um, of course sepia tones in the fall like this transfer wear the gold um, mm -hmm. the warmth that i've brought in in the books um, vintage books bring so much warmth and texture and um, I think those browns and warm honey colors kind of um, work for this season. And I was going to say don't forget about that rug. Yes, a Turkish rug is just a gorgeous way to pop a little texture and color into any space. This would be beautiful at a door, a bath mat, um, kitchen. It's just fun to add in. All right then, well thank you so much there Maddie for sharing your Labor Day with us and sharing your love for Granny Chic. Thank you Tanya, it's fun. <laughs> All right.